Well, what if beavers could help fight wildfires? A recent study from a Cal State uh, Channel Islands professor proves that they can. News Channel 3 Center Ray De Los Santos gives us an exclusive look at how these small animals could prevent larger fires. Much of California looks like this, dry and brown. Many experts say a year-round fire season is the new norm, but firefighters could get some help from an unlikely ally. Beavers. These beaver ponds, they stay wet, they stay green, and they're not burning anywhere near as much as the places that don't have beavers. Emily Fairfax is an environmental science professor at Cal State Channel Islands. She just finished a four-year study which found beavers help rejuvenate dry land creating patches of wilderness that are essentially fireproof. We followed her to some beaver ponds in Atascadero to see firsthand. There are actual teeth scrape marks that you can still see. But you'll notice they didn't take every tree here. So beavers do chew trees, but they never over extract that resource from their environment. Beavers only cut down what they need to build their dams to lock in water and create ponds. In the middle of the dry hillside, a patch of green land, a telltale sign of a beaver dam. So now we're actually at the beaver's dam and we've got the beaver dam starting all the way over on that bank, spanning all the way over to that bank. It's maybe only knee high, slightly higher. It's not a super tall dam, but even so, it's creating this enormous pond and then having an effect all the way downstream where we can see this super lush wetland forming. Beavers are keystone species, meaning they help shape their ecosystems by building dams that, in turn, create a wetland habitat where many other species thrive. And in their absence, that ecosystem will collapse. And so when beavers move into rivers like this, they create wetland e ecosystem. So there's all sorts of species of fish and frogs and birds and salamanders and everything else you can imagine that needs this ecosystem. And so without the beavers, these animals aren't going to make it. Fairfax observed beaver dams before, during, and after wildfires. So the bottom of these beaver ponds is full of some very, very deep spots. <laughs> and so her study found these wet patches the don't burn. Them. The more places we have that are wet, the less places that can burn. If you imagine what the landscape would have looked like if every creek all over California looked like this, Fires wouldn't be able to spread as far as they do. Beavers aren't considered endangered, but their population numbers are low in North America. And in California, it is against the law to relocate them. Which is a big bummer because there's lots of places where beavers are not everybody's favorite. And then there's lots of wilderness that needs beavers. People have even tried to build dams. People try to build. Um, do a kind of bad job of it and then try to basically create these systems. And luckily, one of the things that beavers do is they like to take over beaver dam analogs. So if there's beavers nearby and you kind of give them a head start, a lot of times they'll move and take it over. So the next time you come across a beaver dam, leave it be. These animals are on the clock, hard at work fighting fires. In Atascadero, Senorita Los Santos, News Channel 3.